The debate between science and religion often argues that if you agree with one, you're against the other. The Vatican astronomer Guy Consolmagno says the relationship is more like a brotherly rivalry. We're both aiming to the same thing. We're both aiming there and with many of the same tools, and we both have a lot to learn from each other. For years now, he's heard all the arguments about science and religion. He's an astronomer and scientist. He has a master's and PhD, and he studied at MIT and Harvard. He's also a Jesuit brother who lives in Castel Gandolfo, where the Vatican has one of its two observatories. He says even though most scientists don't really talk about religion, it's usually always there in the back of their minds. One of the strange things was when I became a Jesuit, all of my scientist friends came up to me and started telling me about the churches they went to. You know, and I go, I never knew you went to church, and of course they'd say the same about me because we don't talk about it. His office is surrounded by telescopes and pieces of meteorites. He admits scientists are hesitant to talk about their religious beliefs. But he says time and time again, the purpose boils down to understanding something that's bigger than themselves. It comes out of a belief that this universe really does obey rules. It, it, it follows the rules. It plays fair with us. And that immediately is telling us something about where this universe came from and the assumptions we make about where it came from. The latest research on the Higgs particle, which was later described as the so-called God particle, is something he describes as exciting. Sometimes the answers you get aren't exactly what you expected, which is what happened with the Higgs boson particle. It's not precisely the energy that they thought it was going to have. This is exciting. This means, all right, we've learned something new. He made a quick visit to Rome to take part in the TEDx conference on religious freedom. When it comes to religion and science, he says the best way he can describe both is with the following phrase, get ready to be surprised.